Hey guys, today is Tuesday, May 12th, 2020, and today is the first day of astronomy. So today we're going to get an introduction to the unit. So let's take a look at our agenda slide for today. Okay, so uh, of course, don't forget to take the daily attendance question. And of course, you're already watching the show. Um, you have kind of two activities for today. Um, I put together an astronomy Padlet site is kind of like an outline for the unit, which I will explain more in a few minutes. Um, so I want you to take a look at that first. And then you're going to be taking a look at something I call modeling the solar system, um, where you're going to be taking a look at an activity where you are actually going to um, find out just how big and small different items are in our solar system and items beyond our own solar system because space is a really big place um, so it's important to get a good sense of the size before we start talking about the details of our astronomy unit um, and then tonight for homework just make sure that you're familiar with how the units organized that you've looked over the padlet site you don't have to read every single thing in the padlet site um, there's a lot of articles and things in there um, but it just gives you a quick overview of what you're in for between now and the end of the school year all right guys so let's take a look at this together okay um, so first things first when you were talking about outer space you have to think about where we are in outer space so obviously we're just outside of Pennsylvania or Philadelphia in Pennsylvania um, you can see we're on planet Earth okay on uh, the continent of North America and we get a little bigger you can see right here we are the third planet from the Sun okay and the Sun is in part of a galaxy um, this picture here is not the whole galaxy, it's just the closest 12 and a half light years, which is one of the distances we use to measure space. You're going to learn more about that today in the lab. Um, and then still in the same galaxy, you can see Sun at the center here. This is about 250 light years of distance, and these are all other stars that you're looking at. Um, if you look at the little arrow, we are not at the center of the galaxy, but the, the galactic center is down here. It's actually, um, if you look in the nighttime sky, the center of the galaxy is in the constellation Sagittarius. I also happen to be a Sagittarius. Okay, um, and this one gives you a little better picture of where we are in the galaxy. So we're in a part of the galaxy called the Orion Arm. Um, and you can see it circled in this picture. So we are actually not even close to the center of the galaxy. And kudos to you if you know what's in the center and why it's so bright. There's something very big in the center of the galaxy. And then this is the picture of our galaxy as a whole. Um, we're called the Milky Way Galaxy. We are one of about 100 billion galaxies um, that exist in the known universe. Um, we are not a very big galaxy. Well, a, decent size we're not the smallest but we're also not the biggest uh, galaxy our sister galaxy andromeda is much bigger than us more to come on that okay um and then this is the local group this map here um this is showing you all of our neighboring galaxies okay um so you can see there's quite a few and if you look at the scale on the map here it says one million light years um for that little distance so we're getting to some very very big distances here Hey, um, and then we have something called the local supercluster. So if you look here, hey, this is the Milky Way. You can see all the, the galaxies around us. And then these are clusters of galaxies. All right, so we're just getting bigger and bigger um, as we go through the slides. These are our neighboring superclusters. Okay, so within each of these superclusters, there are thousands of galaxies. And then there's the visible universe. Okay, this is the, everything that we can see from our vantage point on Earth of the universe. So um, I know I just did this really quick. Um, so when you have a chance, when you get started, just take a closer look at those pictures. There's some really interesting things in there, some things that you might know a little bit about already or maybe something new, but they're really cool. It's kind of a, a good sort of cosmic address, so to speak, in picture form. Okay, um, so what I want to show you before we get into this slide here um, is a little bit about the Padlet site and how this unit is going to run. Okay, um, so the biggest thing that we have going on in astronomy right now is really the search for life um, because we know that Earth is not going to be able to sustain life forever. So we're looking for other places for us to go and the potential for life on planets in our own galaxy or outside our galaxy or maybe moons that hold life. Um, so what we're going to be kind of doing is using that as sort of like a theme in our unit. So if you're looking at the Padlet site, this is sort of the theme. 
um, the question that we're kind of pondering is Earth unique? Okay, there are some scientists that think yes. There's no other planets like us out there. We had just the perfect set of conditions to allow Earth to form and for intelligent life to form. And then there are other scientists, according to the math, because of how many galaxies and how many stars and how many planets, they think that we are not unique. Um, so we're going to kind of explore this idea and use that to kind of cover a lot of the major topics in astronomy. Um, so we're going to kind of take it one step at a time. I've sort of categorized these guys. Um, so the first thing we're going to look at, um, and you can read about this theory a little bit in more detail in that red portion. Um, we're going to do orange first, um, so talking about the right neighborhood. The planet or moon that could be harboring life has to be in a very specific location, and that's what all these orange tags are about, and you can take a look at those. Um, then we're going to go over to these, I guess, black or dark gray tags over here. Um, the planet itself has to be made out of the right material, the star has to be made out of the right material, the galaxy has to be made out of the right material. Um, so we'll be talking about that little chemistry, little geology, little oceanography, a little bit of everything in there. Um, and then the last part that we're going to talk about, this blue section down here at the bottom, is all about the right cycles. Um, some of which we've covered before, like the tectonic cycle, the water cycle, some of them will be new. Um, so these are all the components that scientists have kind of put together they feel need to be present in order for life to thrive. Um, so within this unit, we're going to be talking about asteroids and planets and stars and galaxies and black holes. You name it, we're going to try to touch on a little bit of everything um, as we kind of work our way through this idea of trying to figure out what do you think? Is it unique? Maybe it's not. Um, so we're going to be talking about a lot of different stuff. So um, as part of your, of your first activity, again, explore this Padlet. You don't have to look at everything in super detail. Just get, you know, at the general lay of the land. I would say at the very least, read this red portion, okay, um, and then just kind of skim through the other guys. You'll have a chance to look at those in more detail later, um, of course. Um, and then when you're finished with that, let me just bring that slide back up again, okay, post it in this assignment. You're going to be, again, looking at making a model of the solar system. You're going to be using a website that calculates the math for you, which is kind of nice. Um, and you're just going to kind of explore the concept. You're going to watch a really cool video. It's one of my favorites um, where someone made a scale model of the solar system out in the desert. It's a really good one. It's from National Geographic. So I hope you guys like that. Um, and then you'll turn that in when you're finished. Okay. Um, so today is really all just about getting familiar with the unit, um, getting a little introduction, and then we'll really start into the details of things tomorrow. Okay. Um, so don't forget um, if you have any questions about today's activity or anything in general, um, email, Google Classroom, and then of course my office hours uh, tomorrow, or today I should say, filming this the night before, um, are going to be from 12 to 1. So if you have a question that you want to ask me in person, please feel free to jump in on the office hours and I'll be happy to help you guys out. Alright guys, I hope you're excited. I'm excited for astronomy. Um, take a look at this, let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you have a great day. See ya.